Feels like you can reach out and touch things. Uh-huh. Okay. Behind all these technological advances at St. Thomas is one man. My name is Eric Torno, and my title is the Associate Director of Research Computing. And I also handle the Emerging Technology Area, which you're standing in right now. St. Thomas, was, it had technology, but you really had to know something about computers to keep them running back then. The future that I've been waiting for for 40 years is finally arriving. For 20 years, Eric Torno has pushed for the advances in technology on campus. To Eric, these technologies are the teaching tools of the future. It's really fun working with Eric because uh, he he doesn't let anything stop him. So he has an idea and he just keeps working on it. So So it's exciting to see him not get bogged down in the, oh no, we can't do that kind of mentality, but he's just always stepping out there and willing to take on new tasks. It is not easy. It, it, it doesn't even work sometimes, and there are not necessarily instructions. Uh, that's what really appeals to me. I just love figuring out how to make things work that don't work, or how to create something new that hasn't been seen before on whatever level. The educational use of virtual reality is pretty high, but it's, it's kind of drowned out by the, the loudness of the games market. But I really think the innovative stuff is happening in education. The educators are the ones that are getting in there and, you know, pushing the buttons and and coming up with the stuff that's going to shape the future. I think Eric is a vital aspect of St. Thomas, especially whenever you think of, like, what the future of St. Thomas is going to look like or learning, he's going to be able to kind of point us towards the direction in terms of, like, how is technology going to serve the future students. The work that he's doing uh, has helped not only the specific research areas that he's, that he's had direct projects with, but a, a lot of people around campus who are beginning to take advantage of the stuff that he's learned. If you're a student or be that a teacher or someone else who's trying to use technology, you know, for an academic standpoint, he's the best resource for you to go to to kind of get that kind of view of, you know, what virtual technology can I use to get this done? The things that will become the commodity technology of the future is happening here right now. With virtual reality especially, you have to experience it. You cannot imagine what it's like just from a description. Sometimes uh, people can be dismissive, saying, oh, here's technology, what do we need technology for? It's important, even though the technology is clunky, I'd like to be able to uh, convey the vision beyond the initial technology. This is not, you know, nerd wonk technology stuff anymore. This is. This is fun stuff. I really enjoy what I'm doing now. It's an ideal job for me. Uh, And I would like to spread the word that almost anybody can do this kind of thing at whatever level and in any field. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Deborah Honoré.